So we think these are actually lynx tracks and a lynx ran across the road. Amy says she saw it, but I was looking down totally oblivious. How cool is that? Mika can smell something, but it's probably long gone. We, even if it was sitting right in front of us, we probably wouldn't be able to see it anyway. And then as you can hear, it's dripping a whole lot because it snowed last night. So we wouldn't even be able to hear it. Maybe we'll see it on the other side of the trail. Maybe. Ooh, let's go investigate. Hey everyone, welcome to Art Stories. This week is a very crunchy walk. It just snowed yesterday and it snowed for like eight hours straight. So there's quite a bit of snow and it's also simultaneously very warm now. So it's all melting. So I apologize for all the sounds of dripping. Amy just saw a lynx, so that's cool. So this week on Art Stories, I have three new paintings for you. My new project is painting double exposure paintings of Canadian animals in the wilderness, in their wilderness. I've been painting animals with flowers that live in the habitat that that animal is found in. First off, we have a great horned owl. I know what you might be thinking, great horned owls are dark and they're gray and this one's white. You're crazy. So stick with me. Uploaded some pictures that I've stolen from Google. Sorry. Great horned owls. You know I've heard that sound before. What is that sound? Is that a lynx hunting? Okay, you might sound, feel like this is staged, but this is not. This is not staged, this is real. I don't know if you heard that sound, but I've heard that sound once before in my life. And that was in the winter, I was walking with Tara, and I was like, I feel a bad feeling about going down this path. I think that we should take a different path. Let's go this way instead. So we did, and when we got to a place that was parallel to where the path would have ended up, then we heard this really crazy sound. And the sound was coming from the same area that we would have ended up with on the path. And that was that sound. And Tara is a super amazing hunting crazy bush girl. And she says, I heard that sound before, that's the sound of a lynx. So, we I feel like that would be a really crazy coincidence. They're really so we silent creatures. No, let's go see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on film, so... Well, lynx are, don't attack people. They're very non-confrontational, so I think we'll probably be okay. Oh yeah, I was talking about owls. This is way less entertaining now that we've had lynx adventures. <laughs> so, the owl that I think it is, and I'm pretty confident that it is, is a great horned owl from the north. So there is a different variety in the species of great horned owl, which is found in Canada, particularly in the north. And you can tell because it's white. And the horns seem a little bit smaller. The lake that I painted in with it is Moraine Lake. It's one of the most photographed lakes in all of Canada. It is located in Banff National Park and is seriously one of the most beautiful places on earth. I liked it because uh, great horned owls would actually be found there and I thought it was pretty. My next painting is the deer. I was inspired by somebody else's double exposure. I painted the deer with some orange tiger lilies, which are found in grassland areas and areas in southern BC. And I included some wild clematis, as well as, God, what's the other one? I think it's northern harebell is the third flower. I don't see any lynx coming out to attack us. Although it could be watching us and we would have no idea. My last painting is my newest one. It's a fox with wild clematis. And fox would absolutely be living in... Whoa, there's a bunny. We did see a bunny if you didn't bunny. see it. You know, lynx primarily eat rabbits. So there is actually a good chance that there is a lynx around trying to hunt that rabbit. I have three new paintings. These new paintings are up for sale. And for subscribers to my newsletter, you will be seeing them a week early. And to everybody else, this will come out to you in March 7th, 8th. I hope that you enjoyed the video and 
It was very anticlimactic. We did not get attacked by any lynx on camera. I'm sorry, but oh god, what is that? Hey guys, so I just got home from the walk where we think that we might have heard the lynx. And I got home and right away I just went on my computer to see uh, if I could find any sound, any uh, videos of lynx noises. And this is what I found. <coughs> That is the sound. <laughs> so we're pretty stoked that Amy wasn't hallucinating. She actually saw Lynx and we heard it. Ah! So now I know what I'm gonna paint. I'll see you next time, guys.